WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, it's uh, kind of cloudy. Delray Beach, Florida. And this is your 1 p.m. update. And currently you have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's down 163 points, about a half a percent. Same for the S&P, which is 25 points. 1% for the NASDAQ. That's off 146. Russell's down 1.5% or 30 points. Semi's off 1.5% as well. That's 49 points to the south. Gold's up 14 bucks, trading out at 1937. Silver's up 18 cents, 2464 is the print there. Lights recruit off 75 pennies, 9548. Natural gas up at 24 cents, trading out at 627. And uh, 30 year treasury off one tick, I'm sorry, one point and five ticks, 144.09 to the downside. Let's go take a look at our, uh, make sure you yeah, okay, everything is streaming, we're good. Our nine panel market update chart. We can see right now, kind of where we're at yesterday you've got the es mini testing support that's the bottom of its daily profile so the level you want to watch there is 44.52 we're trading at 44.52.50 right now you close above that support will have held put that together with the spot volatilix it still is below its 50-day exponential moving average so the uh, bears are certainly not in control just yet not based upon that tool you get it close above the 50 along with the es mini below the uh, 44.52 level and then we've got action, and that action, Jackson, would take us down to the 43.83 area. The NQ is testing support as well. That's 14.391. U.S. dollar index is not testing support. It's on the uh, rise. It's above its daily. It's weekly profiles continuing to head north. Gold really just trading sideways. For the most part, been trading between 1924 and 1962. Uh, silver is forming a new daily profile. Support now is 24.29, a resistance of 23, 25.16. Uh, Lightspeed crude is trading below the uh, bottom of its daily profile. This could be day number two, but it's still really trading into a prior swing point. So no damage here. That prior swing point I'm referring to is back on the trading day of March the 15th. And the low down there is 92.20. Natural gas completed a TD9 count yesterday. And now you've got a new daily profile and prices traded right up into resistance. That resistance level is $6.28. But if you do get a close above yesterday's high, that's going to tell you about a very strong momentum move to the upside. Yesterday's high, by the way, is $6.39. We take a look at the May contract for natural gas. And the 30-year Treasury down below profile levels looks like it wants to continue moving lower. That is, unless it forms a bullish reversal candle. If we were to do that, then you'd have a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show, but if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.